Welcome to Mickey's Study Circle channel. In this video, we shall see how to do the isometric projections of the combination of the solids. In this problem statement, we have a sphere of diameter 45 mm, which is resting centrally over frustum of a core of base diameter 60 mm, top diameter 40 mm, and height 60 mm. So let us interpret the problem statement. First case is the type of solids. So there are two solids here. One is a sphere and the other one is the frustum of a cone and also the dimensions of these solids. The sphere is having a diameter of 45 mm and the frustum of a cone is having a base circle diameter of 60 mm and the top circle diameter of 40 mm. And also the height of this frustum is 60 mm. So what do we understand by the term frustum? So the frustum is formed when a solid is cut by a plane parallel to the ground and it is not cut by any inclined plane but a plane which is completely parallel to the ground. Only then we get the frustum of a solid. Next is the way in which they are aligned. So the sphere is resting centrally on the frustum of a cone. So we understand that the center point of the sphere and also the center point of the frustum of the cone are collinear. So this is what is the alignment of the solids. So now we shall initiate the drafting by completing the orthographic projection first. So let me select a line of thickness 0.18 mm and draw the reference line of any arbitrary length. And then let me proceed towards drawing the top view of the combination of these solids. So I'm selecting a line of thickness 0 0.50 and the top view of the base of the cone is nothing but the circle. And that circle shall measure with a diameter of 60 mm. So this is the base of the cone. And also I need to draw the top face of the cone which is having a diameter of 40 mm. So again I will select the circle option itself and since the center points are collinear so I will be drawing the concentric circles so the diameter is 40 mm. Next is the sphere. The sphere will also appear as a circle in the top view. So again it is resting centrally so let me construct this. So the diameter of the circle is 45 mm. So you can just see that the sphere is larger than the top face of the frustum of the cone which tells us that the top face of the cone should be a hidden line. So select the line and convert that into the hidden line. So this dotted circle represents the top face of the frustum of the cone and this circle represents the sphere and the outer circle represents the base of the frustum of the cone. So these are the top views of the combination of the solids. So now let us complete the front view. So for that select the line of thickness 0.13 and let me draw the diameter passing through the center point of all the circles which is common. So from the end point of the diameters I will be drawing the projection lines. So this is the projection line to complete the base of the cone and this projection line is to draw the top face of the cone and this projection line is to draw the sphere. So again select and then draw the projection line and intersect them to the xy line. So this is to draw the axis. So convert the line type to the axis line and the frustum of the cone is having a height of 60 mm and the angle shall be equal to 90 degrees. So this is the height of the frustum of the cone. So now let me select the continuous line and uh, extend this outer uh, circle or the inner circle which is here in the dotted line to this height. So that is 60 mm and then complete this. So you can see that these are the projection lines completing the top face of the cone. So now select a line of thickness 0.50 mm and then join the endpoints. So endpoint of this to the endpoint of this and then complete the base of the cone. So this is the frustum of the cone. So now go for extend to next option, extend this lines. So these are the lines which is going to represent the sphere. So that is the circle which is drawn in the thick line here. So let me draw the diameter which is nothing but the center line of the sphere. So select a line of thickness 0.13, select center line. So from this end point, 
draw the line of length 22.5 which is the radii of the sphere which is measuring 45 mm in diameter so now go for the circle option again select a continuous line of thickness 0 0.50 and keeping this endpoint as the center let me draw a circle whose diameter is equal to 45 so now let me use the extend to next option and extend these lines so you can just see that the lines will pass through the endpoints of the diameter of this particular sphere so if i just join them you can just see that they are nothing but the endpoints of this diameter correct so this completes the orthographic projection of the combination of the solids let me go for the smart dimension so let me show the diameter of the sphere here which is equal to 45 mm and the height of the frustum of the cone which is equal to 60 mm and in the top view this is equal to 60 mm and this is equal to 45 mm and this uh, face is measuring uh, 40 mm that is the top face of the cone so let me just move this dimension here so that they are in the chronological order outer diameter inner diameter or the top face diameter of the cone and this is the diameter of the sphere so this is how the dimension has to be shown in the orthographic projection so now let me go for the annotation select the text option and uh, label this reference line as x and y So this is X and this is Y and the reference planes are VP and HP. So with this, we complete the orthographic projection. So now let us see how to complete the isometric projection. So here even the top face must be in the dark line. Okay. So now let me select a line of thickness, say 0.13 mm, draw the reference line. And from this reference line, I need to draw the cone the frustum of the cone so i need to draw two circles one is the bottom circle of the cone and the other one is the top circle of the cone so for which i need to enclose these circles in a square so let me select a line of uh, blue color and enclose this outer circle in a square of dimension 60 cross 60 so this length is 60 so let me just enclose this entire circle in a square of 60 and then I need to enclose this dotted circle. So let me select a different color. So let me select green and enclose this dotted circle in a square whose sides are measuring 40. So 40, this is 40 again. And this side is 40. And this is 40. And then complete this. So I need to construct these two squares in the isometric sheet to draw the circles. So let me select the line option, draw the outer circle for outer square first. So let me select blue color from any arbitrary point. Let me start constructing the circle. So this is 60 inclined at an angle of 30 degrees. In the ISO sheet, just draw six boxes. 60 inclination at 150 degrees. Then again, uh, 60 degrees. Angle of inclination is minus 150. And then complete this edge of the square. So let me draw the diagonals of this particular square and then mark the four center points to draw the circle. So from this corner join the midpoint and from this corner join the midpoint of this edge. Repeat this step from the center to and the point of intersection of these lines and the uh, diagonal is going to give us uh, two more center points that is C3 and C4. So now let me select a line of color black and select the line of thickness 0 0.50. Select arc by center point. So keeping this as the radii of the arc, sweep an arc. And similarly from this center, keeping this as the radii, sweep an arc. And from this point of intersection and keeping this as the radii, just sweep an arc. And similarly, from this point of intersection, measure this as the radii and then sweep an arc. So the endpoints are connected. So you get a circle of diameter 60 mm in the ISO sheet. And next, I need to draw the top circle. So for that, I need to select 
the line option again let me select a line of thickness 0.13 so from the center point let me draw the height of the frustum of the cone which is equal to 60 mm so this is the frustum of the cone which is measuring 60 mm so that means six boxes in the iso sheet so you can just see this in the actual scale this is equal to 60 mm but when i convert this into the iso scale it is going to reduce to 0.816 times of 60 so this is 60 in the true scale so now i need to construct the square of this green color so let me change the color to green so these color indications are only to differentiate the different types of constructions that we are doing and they are not the standard quotes so draw a line of length 20 mm incline at an angle of minus 30 degrees similarly here 20 angle of inclination is 150 and next this is 20 again angle of inclination is 30 and then 20 here and the angle of inclination is minus 150 so from this point or any other point rather you can just complete the square of 40 so from here draw a line of length 40 incline at an angle of minus 30 and then 40 mm angle is minus 150 and then 40 mm angle of inclination is 150 and complete this square so draw the diagonals of the square so extend this point so from this point join the midpoint from this point join the midpoint of this edge similarly here so you get the four centers and now let us go for constructing the circle so select the black line of thickness 0.50 mm so if this is c1 keeping this as the radii let us sweep an arc so go for arc by center point select black color line of thickness 0.50 so from this point to this point sweep an arc so this is 0.35 change this to 0 0.50 okay so from this point select this and draw the radii change it to 0 0.50 so select the arc by center point again 0 0.50 mm so from this point which is c3 so point of intersection so this is c3 this is the radii of the arc sweep an arc similarly this is the point c4 point of intersection this is the radii then sweep an arc so this completes drawing the circle in the top face so now let us connect the uh, slant generators of the cone so from this point just draw a line such that it becomes tangent to the circle do not join this to the end point so this gap must not be seen just make the line tangent to the circle the bottom circle similarly take up a line from the top circle and make it a tangent to the bottom circle like this so this completes the isometric drawing of the frustum of the cone but however this edge will be invisible so for that let me select the split option select this entire curve and split this curve at this point similarly select this entire curve and split the curve at this point so now i've got this this and this curve which will be equal to the thickness of point 13 mm so these are the invisible edges correct so now this is the frustum of the cone so this is in the true scale uh, we need to draw the sphere but however the sphere will be the true scale even in the iso dimension but the radia will be equal to the iso scale so for that what we can do is let me select the line option 0.13 mm so from this point i'll draw the radii which is equal to 45 by 2 that is 22.5 so this is the point where i need to place the center of the circle so before that let me select this entire frustum of the cone and convert this into the iso scale so in the scale option change the scale to 0.816 ensure the copy is off and then place the frustum here so this is the iso scale of the frustum so now let me select 
the circle by center point select 0.5 mm thickness so keeping this as the point of center of the circle let me draw a circle whose diameter is equal to 45 mm and this is the sphere in the isoscale so again this part will be invisible so for that let me select the split option select this entire curve and split it at the point of intersection similarly select this entire curve and split it at this point of intersection so select this curve and this part of the curve and change the thickness to 0.13 so this is the sphere in the isoscale which is having a true diameter of 45 mm or a true radii of 22.5 mm from this iso radii of 22.5 mm as the center point so this is the isometric view of the combination of the solids so you can just go for the angle between this reference line is inclined at an angle of 30 degrees so only in the constructions you show this in the manual sheet all the lines are inclined at an angle of 30 degrees so nothing to worry similarly you can just see the length now so the height of the frustum or select the distance between the center point of this and center point of this so actually it was 60 but it has been reduced to the iso scale so this is 48.96 but however i can just override this by unlocking so the underlying dimension shows that it is overwritten dimension so this is iso 60 correct and similarly let me select the distance between so this is reduced that is 22.5 into 0.816 times so let me just unlock this and change the radii to 22.5 iso correct so these are the isometric dimensions and uh, go for the smart dimension so this is having a true radii or the diameter will be equal to 45 mm correct so this is the true radius i'm not going to change this to the iso scale so with this we complete the isometric uh, projections of the combination of the solids that is the sphere which is resting centrally over the frustum of a cone whose base circle is measuring 60 mm and the top circle is measuring 40 mm and the sphere is having a diameter of 45 mm and the height of the frustum of the cone being 60 mm thank you all for watching